picking up three new snakes today and I'm super excited. I'm going to unbox them for you later, but first I wanted to talk a little bit about them. So I got these snakes off Morph Market, and if you've never used Morph Market, it is super, super easy. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just what a lot of the snake people use. Kind of like an Amazon for snakes. You just search for the snake you want, or you browse through the pictures, you pick one, you contact the seller, and then you go from there with them. I breed Kenyan sand boas, so I was in the Kenyan sand boa section. I got one female from Kenyan sand boa nerds. She's six years old, over 400 grams, and a proven breeder. So I'm very excited about her. She's Paradox albino stripe, and she's het for anery. And she's going to go right into the breeding program right after quarantine. To go along with her, I got two other snakes. These ones are from Henley Herps. And the male that I got to go with the other female is Paradox Albino Stripe and possibly Het Anery. So those two will breed and they'll make Paradox Albino Stripes and possibly Paradox Snow Stripes. And I got another female that is a normal stripe who is Het for Paradox Albino. Okay, so we had a slight problem at FedEx. One of the boxes is still at the Origin facility in Arizona. I'm in Massachusetts, so that's a bit of a problem. That's a thing to make sure that you are prepared for when packaging or ordering snakes is that they can be delayed. If they're delayed, the first thing you want to do is contact the shipper, and the shipper should contact the company that they shipped through. It is nice to try and figure out if it's coming that same day and just a little bit delayed. In my case, it's possible that the snake will come in on the second plane today, which comes in around noon. If she doesn't, she'll have another night of staying in Arizona, and that is not great. It probably won't hurt her, so we're not being dramatic, we're not scared. Probably everything will be okay. We have started the process of letting people know that there's a problem so that they can try and fix that for us. I did get the box from Hensley Herps, which has two snakes in it, a male and a female, and we'll open that right now. This is the box from Hensley Herps. This has our male Paradox Albino Stripe, possibly Het Anery in it, and our female Normal Stripe, Het Paradox Albino in it. So I've removed the identifying information, but I have not opened the box yet. So let's get to it. They're always packed in an outer box and an inner foam. So let's remove the foam. Okay, we have newspaper to keep them from moving, which is always good. And as you can see right away, the male, he seems to be doing fine. Say hi. We'll take him out in a minute. Now the female is here in this bag and she also feels like she's doing fine, but let's take her out first. Here. And we got some stickers. So that's pretty cool. Now our female, let's see how she's doing. She's moving around pretty good. Oh, she's such a beautiful color. Okay, let's put her back in here.
a little poo on the way here. They're a little cold, so we're going to have to warm them up a little, but oh, gorgeous, baby. Hi, baby. Gorgeous. Are you kidding me? So I have to do a voice over here because I forgot to turn on the microphone. About two hours after I got the message that there was not a delivery date for the snake from Kenyon Sandbow and Nerds, I actually got another text message saying that she was available for pickup at the hub. So she ended up getting picked up about 24 hours after she was supposed to be available. She should be okay, but we're gonna take a look. Again, in an external box with an internal foam. So she should be okay. This is a packaging label. And Katie sent an invoice with the snake that says her weight when she was last fed, her last two clutches, when she last shed, and her birthday and age. Katie's really good about that stuff. So again, she's packed in newspaper. This time it's shredded newspaper, which was slightly damp. The bag has a label on it in case a FedEx employee opens it and gets past the first label without noticing, I guess. You can see that the bag is sealed with tape as well as ropes. At least you didn't have to hear the tape being pulled off of the bag. The rope is double knotted and it's very hard to untie so the snake was definitely not getting out. And she was right there peeking up at us as you can see. Hi. So she looks like she was fine even being at FedEx for an extra day. She's a little wet and a little bit cold, but otherwise she seems to be completely active. She has great body condition. Katie's really good at making sure her snakes are well kept. Now that we've got these snakes, we're going to have to name them. So if you have good suggestions, tell me down below. And while you're at it, like and subscribe. Thanks. Somebody make a rooster noise or something. That's why you're here, to be cute and distract people and increase the time of my video. Freeloaders. That was the dumbest thing I've ever said. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Can't feel stupider. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Who's going to edit this video? <sighs> okay, that was dumb. It's dumb. Why am I so bad?